Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been a while. Um, been really busy with school and that coming to an end. So now it's summer and it's finally getting nice out, thankfully. And I just wanted to make a video about something I'm really passionate about and that is tea. Um, I love tea. I probably have four to five cups a day. Obviously, um, the brands, like the types of it vary because you can have the same type of tea five times a day for a solid week, let's just say. That's a little much. So, um, I am going to share with you guys today my favorite kinds of teas, the kinds I drink on a daily basis, and then the health benefits from them as well. Um, because even though the tea is good, most, like 90% of them, have like really good health benefits to them that no one really knows about. Um, I used to drink coffee a lot in high school, but honestly, there's many teas out there that you can have that have natural caffeine in them that really help boost your energy and that get you ready for your day. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, so I have my handy dandy little notebook here with all my notes in it that I'm going to share with you guys today about the benefits of the teas. Um, for some of them, I'm going to share the ingredients in it, the ingredients in them because I think the ingredients is what makes it like taste good. Um, this is all my opinion. I obviously don't expect you guys to have the same taste buds as me, but I don't know. Maybe if something sparks your fancy, I'll tell you where I bought all mine. I'll show you guys my brands I use. And yeah, so we're going to start my bag of goodies. We're going to start with green tea because I think that's the most important one. Um, I use Redner's generic brand green tea, um, naturally decaffeinated, obviously. Um, there's obviously you can get like the expensive brands of green tea, but it's like why not when you can get a bag of literally a box of 48 tea bags for only like $3, like you can't beat that. I like this one, well, green tea, because you can have it hot or cold. So obviously in the summer, I like having it over ice, but um, at night or in the winter times, I like having it um, hot. I don't put honey or lemon in it. Um, I'm not a big fan of honey, but a lot of people do that. So starting with the benefits, um, it has a lot of antioxidants and nutrition, not nutrition, nutrients. Um, and it, it also improves, helps improve brain functioning as well as helps, um, helps fat loss. And then it helps you be at a lower risk for cancer. So I mean, if something literally can help you lower your chance of having cancer, why not take it? So there was a story on like Snapchat or something that Kendall Jenner drinks like five cups a day of green tea. I don't know if that's true because like, who knows what's true in the media, but I know that like green tea is really good for you. If you want to lose weight, green tea is really good to help with that. Next one, chai. Um, the one I have is Twinnings Chai. It's spiced apple um, flavored. I've seen, I've seen like vanilla and different kinds like that, but uh, it's kind of like the apple, add something different to it. I don't have any other tea that's like apple flavored, so I think that's really cool. Um, so it's fine black tea, perfectly balanced with the flavors of apple and savory spices, cinnamon, clovers, cloves, and ginger. So I think this one is caffeinated, so that's why people say only drink chai in the morning because that can be like your coffee supplement. Nutritional benefits of it, it boosts your heart health reduces blood sugar, it aids digestion, and it's also helped with weight loss. And I think that's because it has um, caffeine in it, so it can help your metabolism increase that and stuff. So, like I said, I only drink this in the morning because there are, um, not are, there is caffeine in it. Next one, Organic Smooth Move. This is by Traditional Medicinals, I don't know, I'm not really good at spelling words. But, anyways, so this one, oh yeah, I got this one from uh, Redner's, Redner's as well. This one's at Redner's, I think it was like five some dollars, which honestly I think is kind of pricey for tea. Get like 16 bags in here, so. 
but honestly, it is a great laxative tea. Not to get all personal and stuff like that, but if you are constipated at all, honestly, take this tea and within, I think it says, six to 12 hours, you will have some sort of a bowel movement. It's crazy. So it does say though, only steep it 10 to 15 minutes, but let's just say, okay, I did it for 10 minutes and literally I thought my stomach was going to explode. I had the worst stomach pain, stuff like that. So the next time I tried it, I only put it in for five minutes and it still helped, but it also um, decreased the cramping I had in my stomach. So this is really good. It's, um, the box says it relieves occasional constipation, generally produces a bowel movement. So yeah, only take this if needed once. Steep it for five minutes, trust me. Do not do 10 to 15. Then we have Herbal Mint Medley by Bigelow. Um, I really like this tea brand. They have like a lot of different varieties, so I like that a lot. Um, Redner's as well, I think it was like $3 maybe. Um, I can't really remember. But um, any kind of herbal is going to be a calming kind of tea. And then the mint, I like that because, like I said, it's calming and soothing herb to help with upset stomachs, indigestion, and that leads to support your cholesterol levels. But the mint's just like really refreshing. I don't know, it's like a blend of Cool Garden Spearmint and Peppermint. This is also caffeine free, so you can have it any time of the day. They say you can put this over ice too, but I like it hot. They also have a um, Sleepy Time Mint one. And like if you love mint, then definitely I'd say get the Sleepy Time Mint one because that really um, helped calm me down as well and like soothe me. I'm sorry, my refrigerator is kicked on, so hopefully you can still hear me. But yeah, so this is an any time of the day and then the mint nighttime one is also really good, but obviously it's just for nighttime. Moving on is sleepy time herbal tea. So this is like, I have two teas that I only have for bedtime. Sleepy time herbal by Chelesteel. This is also along with Big Low. They have a lot of different flavors. And I like it a lot. Um, so this honestly doesn't really taste like anything. The ingredients are chamomile, spearmint, uh, lemongrass, blackberry leaves, orange blossoms, hawthorn, and rosebuds. So for the reason why it makes it sleepy time is because the chamomile because it's supposed to be a nice relaxing, soothing thing before you go to bed. Um, I don't think if you took it like in the afternoon if you'd be like fall asleep within the hour, but it is like a nice little, nice thing to have like before bed or you're watching TV or stuff like that. Um, any kind of herbal teas obviously get off, give off a comforting aroma and it's a perfectly balanced flavor. Like you have to say, like, I can have this, like, I never get tired of this one. Like, it doesn't, since it doesn't have a very distinct taste, I, like, when I say I don't get over it. It's nothing overwhelming or stuff like that. This one, on the other hand, Sleepy Time Peach, same brand as well. Um, it has the chamomile in it as well, but instead of tasting kind of more bland, it tastes like peach. This one does have a very pungent flavor for the peach. Um, you're supposed to steep it. I usually do it for like five minutes just because sometimes the peach is like overbearing. Um, it definitely is good though. It's nice if I want to change up at nighttime. Same thing. All right. Now we're going on to a detox tea. In the news and old weight loss, it's been really big into the tea tox and stuff like that. I've tried probably three different kinds of tea toxes and the one I can really swear by personally is Skinny Mint. You get a morning boost as well as the night cleanse, 14 days. There is a 28 day, but I just got the 14 because it's cheaper and why not? Um, with my experience of Skinny Mint, it did not make me lose weight, but it definitely helped my bloating. My bloating like was gone. like. It was crazy, honestly, because I do eat a lot. And I'm used to seeing my body um, at night being, not having a big stomach, but be being a little bit bloated. But now, with when I'm whenever I take this, I just have a flat stomach all day. I'm not gonna say like flat washboard abs, it's just you have a flatter appearance. 
So that's why I really like this one. You do this one every day for 14 days, and then you do this every other night for 14 days. So yeah, you have 14 night, 14 morning and seven night. This is supposed to be like a laxative. Um, never this the night cleanse never gave me bad cramping. Um, it did encourage me to go to the bathroom, but it wasn't um, severe like, oh my gosh, I have to go to the bathroom right now. So wasn't that bad. So that's the skinny man. This one. It looks a little funky because I got it at um, a local like store and you have to bag it yourself, so I had to buy a bag separately. But um, Kaffir, Earth, Water, and Tea. This is also caffeine free, but it's a natural stimulant. So it's a nice wake me up. Um, it's a blender, it's a blend of ginger and spices. Um, you steep it three to five minutes, you can enjoy it um, in the morning or afternoon. Like I said, since it does have like a natural caffeinated ingredients with it, I don't take it at night. That's that. Next, Vata Air Balancing Tea. Just like this. This one's really cool. Um, I like the taste of this one. It's very uh, sweet. It does have rosebuds in it. Um, I've, there's not any more left, but there honestly was like that big a piece of like actual dried roses. So I thought that was really cool and it gave it a nice taste and stuff like that. Um, it's a sweetening and soothing choice to help restore balance quickly whenever life gets too hectic, they say. So, hence air balancing. So, it's just like a nice tea to have whenever. You can drink it morning or night, steep it three to five minutes, and that's all for that one. I thought I lost one, but I got it. Ginger Lime Rubios. This one, um, I do also have a tea ball, which like I put it in there and I let it steep in the water. Um, do not use a tea ball with like Rubio's because they're so thin it's all gonna fall through the ball. So you wanna make sure you use bags um, for thin stuff like this so it keeps everything in. So Rubio's is apparently supposed to be really good for you. Um, it has low, it is low in tantus, and apparently that means it absorbs nutrients like iron, which obviously we need. So it's low in that. It is rich in antioxidants, it has no oxalic acid, and apparently that is, if you have too much of that acid, it increases your risk of kidney stones. So if you have kidney issues, this would be, um, this would be really good for you. So, yeah, good one. And last, it's probably my least favorite, it is the Organic Roasted Dandelion Root. I got this from Wal um, yeah, Walmart. This is the same, same brand as the laxative one, but this is just an herbal tea, it's not a laxative one or anything. It's very good for di digestion, so if you want to do anything for weight loss, again, maybe you have like blockage issues, this will help you. Um, since it is for digestion, you might have a bowel movement with it, but it's nothing crazy. It's just gonna help um, release the toxins and stuff like that. The reason I'm not a big fan of this is because it tastes kind of, just like not bad, but not pleasant either. Kind of like a bland tasting to it. So, they say pleasantly roasted, sweet and slightly bitter. I would say it's very bitter. That's honestly the perfect word for them that I read this. Um, I say steep for 10 to 15 minutes. So that is my tea talk. And um, I hope you guys like just enjoyed this video and listening to the teas that I personally take. Um, my normal schedule of my teas is green tea. I usually have green tea two times a day, once in the morning and like once in the afternoon. And then for the nighttime, I usually switch between these. I just really like these ones. They're good. So that's the majority of the kind of tea that I take within the day. So like I said, they have many benefits to them and there's so many more teas out there, like it's endless. That's why I love teas because coffee, 
if I ever, when I used to drink coffee, it was always hazelnut mixed with um, French vanilla and hazelnut creamer. It just always had so much sugar in it and it's a lot of calories. Tea basically has nothing in that. So don't expect to get a giant sugar rush because you're not. It's just, it's a natural thing. And I just think it tastes really good. Depending if you get the herbal, it's really soothing and calming. And like I said, there's some of them that um, can help you sleep with insomnia. And like I said, there's just so many different choices and it's, it's endless, honestly. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Um, now that it's summer and school's over, I will be hoping to be more active on the channel. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day. See ya.